Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here. You're cooking with Jack on a quick and dirty dip episode. We did one over a year ago and it's time. Uh, I know a lot of you have been hosting parties and you're looking for some potluck stuff. Uh, this is great for even vegetarians because there's no meat involved. So it's a dip that you can use pretty much anytime you want. Uh, it takes a little bit of work, a little bit on the stove, very little ingredients. You're gonna love this. It's a special dip that you probably haven't seen just yet. But we're gonna to get to that in a moment. Right now, let's show you some pictures of some of our viewers who have tried some of my recipes. They've sent their pictures in. Like this one from William, who has showed us his ultimate chocolate chip cookies. And Matt's incredible mac and cheese. Say that three times fast. Looks good. Marcus's incredible mac and cheese with some meat thrown in. Delicious. And Corey's incredible mac and cheese made with wheat pasta. Try that one out. Also, here's Dakota's perfect omelet. Nice job. All right, you ready to do it? Let's do it right now. The hot red pepper spinach dip coming your way. Come in close and I'll show you the ingredients. Okay, here's all the ingredients. You're gonna need one cup of water. You're gonna need the Parmesan cheese, the cream cheese, some thawed frozen spinach, some diced red pepper, and then you're gonna need some finely diced red pepper red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, and milk. Pretty simple, huh? Those are all ingredients we have at the house. So let me show you how to do that on the stove top. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna take the spinach and we're gonna take the peppers and we're going to soften them by boiling them in this little bit of water. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, is soften the peppers in this cup of water that I just poured into our pan on a medium to a medium high flame. You're going to add the peppers and you're gonna add the spinach. Approximately 10 minutes. Okay, now when it starts to bubble like that, you're gonna lower this to a simmer. You do not want it boiling. So lower that down until it starts to simmer just a little bit, right there. And you're gonna simmer that the full 10 minutes, so. Uh, wash the bubbles, make sure it's at a simmer, and just wait until those little peppers soften up. Okay, turn the flame off. Looks like those uh, red uh, bell peppers are softened. Get one of these things, a little, little col colander. I never pronounce that right. It's a colander. I like this one. It kind of folds up. It's kind of cool. I got this a long time ago. This is probably the first time I've used this size. It's a little tiny one. Anyway, you can use any size colander you want. And we're going to drain that in here and we're gonna squeeze out as much of the juice as we can, okay? Because you don't want any of the liquid. We just want the good stuff. So let's pour it in here right now. There we go. Shake that out. Squeeze, squeeze. Don't burn your fingers. Well, you may have to press if you don't have a bendable one and get all the liquid out. There you go. And that's what we want to stay with. Go rinse this out and bring this back. Okay, now that you got a clean saucepan, put the spinach and bell peppers off to the side. We're gonna now soften the cream cheese with the milk on a medium flame. So go ahead and put up a medium flame. There you go, get your cream cheese in there. All eight ounces. Room temperature is best. If it comes out of the fridge, it's gonna take longer to soften up, so you don't want that, okay? If that sounds like it's sizzling, lower the flame a little bit. There we go. Don't worry about if there's spinach on your spoon. Use the same spoon. Who wants to do more dishes? You wanna soften this all up, okay? You're gonna use the heat to do that. Now that's all smooth and creamy, we're gonna start putting all the ingredients in, make this dip happen. You're first gonna put in the bell pepper and the spinach, mix that in. Dump in the red pepper flakes. Dump in the salt. Dump in the pepper. 
Dump in the Parmesan. Gonna mix this all up as it's warm. This looks great. If you feel like it's a little too thick, put in another splash of milk, just to thin it out a little bit. This looks good to me. Oh, wow. This is coming together perfect. Look at this. That's beautiful. Just give this a quick minute for all the flavors to meld together. Look at that. That's it. I would even double this recipe. This looks like a small amount for me. If I'm having people over, this is going to go fast. You may want to double this recipe, but the recipe is down below. Don't forget. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, man. Look at that. Let me show you kind of what it looks like. That's sweet. All right, let's get that in the bowl. Turn your flame off. Scrape the sides good. Make sure you're using a wooden spoon. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect consistency. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mmm. That is your uh, spinach hot pepper dip. Or hot pepper spinach dip. However, I don't even care. Just give me some Ritz crackers. Let's try this out. You know what's funny is when you tell somebody you're going to be making something on the stovetop, you think it's going to be complex. But all I did was throw all those ingredients in after I did the spinach and the bell pepper. Uh, it was just, it was too easy. Almost a lazy man dip, but I'm not going to call it that. It's a quick and dirty dip. And my favorite thing to try it with is Ritz crackers. I dig on these, okay? All you vegetarians can chow down on this. Everybody can. Let's give that a try. Mmm. A little warm. Oh, man. Spinach, Parmesan. Any heat? Mm-hmm. There's the pepper flakes. Wow. It's got a, a kick that sneaks up behind you. You gotta make this. I don't care when, just try it out. This is all stuff you have in your house, okay? Quick and dirty dip number two. It's a hot red pepper spinach dip. And I'm gonna chow down a little bit more and then I'm done. I'm calling it quits. I'm gonna save the rest for my family. Oh man, so good. I can't wait for next week's episode. You take care and I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Bye-bye.